uh, but talk about game two and three and what, what you learned in the first weekend here. I thought Barnett and Bryant were both good on Saturday. You know, two young guys with good arms. Even the umpires were making comments about how these guys got a chance to be pretty good as time goes on. Really been proud of our older guys, you know, Shaler and even Wilson and Tilton and Andrew Smith and all these guys have been around here for a long time. Ross Steedley, you know, Yermel, uh, because they've kept the tempo going at the right pace. And that's shown our, our younger guys how important it is to practice the right way. Uh, tonight was really cool, so we probably had, well, we had a couple hundred people in the stands at least. A uh, good night to play. And again, another good pitching performance. Pilkington was probably the best he's been all fall. Roberts was pretty good. And, you know, it's, it's just really good to get out here in a, in, a, in a game situation and simulate our spring games as much as possible. We, we've made improvement. One of the things that we're constantly trying to do is get these guys to, to get better as we go through the fall. They've gotten their legs back underneath them. And the other part about the Fall World Series is trying to get some freshmen some time where they're being exposed to real-life experiences. And we were able to put them in a lot of different situations here the last two days. Uh, One-run games, late-inning situations, you know, how are they going to pitch around guys, things like that. We know what we're getting out of Pilkington. We know we're getting out of Roberts, uh, Rothland, and Beham. We, we've seen that before. But to have the freshmen step out there and we, you know, all, all four of them through really, or all five really, through had good outings. Um, you know, some are taking a few more steps and advancing a little bit quicker, but all five had good outings. You've been talking about the new bats, been, lot, been doing a lot of dinking and dunking and moving runners around. It's been a low scoring affair. Can we expect this uh, in, the, in the spring? I think so. You know, we've been using them for about 10 games now and it's, it's changed the game. This game's going to be a little bit more low scoring, uh, but we like it. It's what it is. It's what it's going to be for two years, so we'll continue to deal with it and continue to work offensively to get our guys a little bit more diverse so we can have the ability to score a few more runs. You know, good, good hitters are being rewarded. Uh, guys that have good swings and are barreling the ball, those guys are still being rewarded. Ball's still carrying. Miggy hit one out uh, up over the trees yesterday. Um, so those things are being rewarded. You know, one of the things that we're having to do, though, is play a little bit faster. You're seeing a little bit more bunt, a lot more hit and run, and our guys have bought into it because it's not that big a difference from the way we tried to play in the past. Talk about the upcoming week, a big day for you on Friday, and then of course Saturday kind of is when everything culminates uh, with the alumni event, but just talk about the uh, upcoming week for you guys. Yeah, we've got three days of practice left, so we're probably going to practice on Tuesday of this week just to clean up a few more things that we need to. And then the alumni deal, golf on Friday, Picasso's Friday night for everybody, uh, and then play again Saturday, play again on Sunday, and that'll be the end of our fall. A lot of guys' handicaps are a lot better in their head than they are when we actually show up. Um, but it's a great time getting those guys back. I, and one of the things I think is going on now, and I, I've been cleared to say it, uh, you know, the Chris Lane band. Chris Lane and Corey Lane were, were twins on the uh, uh, 2007 team, uh, four games away from Omaha, and one played second, one played center. And if you were around us at that time, you know who I'm talking about. They have their band now, and they're actually going to play at Picasso's on Friday uh, and kind of, you know, close down alumni weekend. But, you know, getting everybody back in from, from – all different time periods and just being around the game again and you know seeing our young guys talk to guys that played here 15 years ago for coach Hibbs and it's the same thing being taught and it kind of reinforces that if we do the right things things will work out in the end.